Hi everyone, welcome to the session on Python basics. In this session, we will learn about the Python center method. Well, the Python center method is an inbuilt function that is used to align a string to the center by filling paddings to the left and right of the string. Now with the paddings, we can use spaces, we can use hash, we can use asterisks, whatever as per your wish, you want to use a special character, you can use it. And the syntax for using the Python center method is like your string dot center and it will be followed by the length where you want to put the special character and followed by the fill character what is the character that you will fill okay suppose if i say that i have a string i'll say string is high and uh, i just want to just give a very simple example so i will say string dot center and then after that if i say four if i say four simply then what will happen four means my total output length will be four characters and in this case, because high is two characters, so I'll have one space at, big, at the before high and one space after high. If I don't pass the, specify the length of the, this length, okay? The very first length, whatever I have passed here, if I don't specify, then what will happen? It means that the program will give you an error and needs at least one argument, okay? Now, after this, when we want to use a fill character C, here we have used, I have used str dot, center and I'm passing now if you can see here the default padding is spaces instead of space I want to replace it with hash now you can see the total length of my hash is uh, total length is 4 now after this when we want to use the fill char hash instead of spaces like 2 at the front and 1 at the end so in this case we'll say str dot center and then we'll say 5 comma hash in case if we have odd numbers so what we'll take what it will it has taken high there will be three spaces out of which two will come at the front and one uh, hash will go at the after this if you want to replace this hash with at the rate so you can see we have replaced the hash with at the rate suppose if my string is if i use like if i say high dot center this is a string right and then if i say four you can see like this now if instead of four i will say five and then i am passing hash okay then you can see two hashes coming at the at the front and one at the end. Now, instead of this, what I will say, high and again high. Okay. Because there is a space now, okay? And if we pass here, eight, total eight character. So what is the length of this character? Total is five and we have total eight here, right? Now, if we execute this now, two hash will come at the end and one hash will come at the beginning. So that is the difference. If you see here, my string is high and if I am passing, the total the output value will be five characters in which like if we pass this if we execute the center method then out of five character high is two character the remaining is three characters so so it will divide three out of three two characters will at the come at the front and one character will come at the end now but in case of if we have any special character of we have any space in our string in that case what will happen here my length of my string will be how much five characters and i am passing how much the output will be total eight character so eight minus five will be how much we are left with three so in that case one hash will be assigned at the front and two hash will be assigned at the end this is what i wanted to explain here uh, task number six is if the length of the string is greater than the specified length okay so str1 now what is the length of this uh, length of str1 is how much 11 then what will this str1 dot center and what will say will say 8 so because 8 is less than the length of str1 so the output is the same if the length of the string is greater than the specified width, then the original uh, string is returned without any padding. Here, it will be original string. Now, task number seven, add two characters at the beginning and two at the end. This is pretty simple. So, we'll copy this. So, hello all, I'll say length, length of str1, okay? So, now we will not calculate. Now, we will simply say length of str1 plus four, comma, we'll say hash. So what will happen Two uh, hash will be added at the beginning and two uh, will be added at the end. The next task is uh, if you want to add two characters at the beginning and three at the end. So we'll say length of string plus five. So in this case, because we have this spaces already in the string string one str one hello world. So what will happen here? Two hashes will be added at the beginning and three will be added at the end. Now, instead of this escape. Suppose if we have this hello 
world dot center okay now if we pass the length of now the length of hello world is how much 10 so we'll say 10 plus 5 10 plus 5 is 15 comma hash so you can say three hashes is added at the beginning and one and two is added at the end because there is no character uh, special character or no spaces present here in this hello world so this is a very important thing to remember now the length of the fill cat should be one if it is greater now uh, this is something like if we are saying that hi this is my string dot center and then we'll say four comma Hash, hash. So what happens? The fill character must be exactly one character long. So if you change it, it will be executed fine. So this need, you need to remember. And the last thing is, let's see some example. Like it's a already have explained here. I will just uh, mention the uh, before and after scenario. Okay. Okay. Now what we'll do? We will say string two is equal to string one dot center. So what is the value of my string one? String one is nothing but hello world so if we execute this we are adding four uh, so in this case two hashes will be at the front and two hashes that will be at the end and you can see here before changes and after we apply the center method after changes now if we similarly apply this again i have already explained this was just to show you the before and after changes i will say the odd number okay odd value so that you can see here two hashes is coming at the front and two ha three hashes is coming at the end and similarly if we apply here like this so you can say here three hashes is at the beginning and two hashes is at the end in case if there is a special character or is a, there is a space division of even number of uh, items will be at the beginning and the odd number will be at the end in case if it is there is no uh, special uh, characters or there is no spaces in that case the odd number of values will be in the front and even number will be at the end so with this uh, i come to the conclusion of this video so in this session what i have learned we have learned about the definition of um, center python center method and with the syntax and i have shown you a small small example which will which plays a very big role in case you are doing or implementing something okay so that's it for the session thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in my next video thank you